Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Monday, November 20th, 2017. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, looking at this market, we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading higher by two and a half points. You can see futures really came rocketing off the lows around 1.30 in the morning. They were down and down decently, and now they are positive by uh, two and three quarter points at the moment. So futures really have caught a strong bid. We'll see how this market plays out. Remember, this coming Thursday is Thanksgiving. This is going to be a holiday shortened trading week. It is expected to be very, very light volume. So again, got to take that into consideration. But in the meantime, we have lots of stocks in the news. Let's get started here. We're going to talk about Cavium. Ticker symbol is C-A-V-M. And uh, this one right here, this name is going to be, uh, looks like they're going to be merging with Marvell. So the stock is trading sharply higher, closed at $75.83. Today it is trading at $83.02. So looks like it's an $80 merger. Cavian is going to receive $80. Bucks. So again, um, you know, be a little bit careful. If you own the stock, I would trail the stop loss in art right now. If you don't own it, just leave it alone. There's not much we could do here. It's up a ton. MRVL, on the other hand, uh, today is trading up on the news as well, trading at $21.20. This closed at $20.29. So great move there for Marvell and a really good move this morning for Cavium. Let's take a look here at another one. We have CAH, which is Cardinal Health. It looks like they were downgraded this morning. Stock doesn't have a lot of volume in it, so just be a little bit careful there. But right now, it is trading at $55.50 a share, closed at $57.51 a share. So this is a decent dip. If this stock gets to $50, I think it's really a no-brainer play. So keep it on the radar today at $50 bucks, uh, if it does get there. I'm not sure it will do that. Let's take a look at Merck this morning, MRK. It looks like uh, shares are dropping there. Stock closed at $55.20. Right now, it's trading at 54.05. Looks like uh, Roach came out with a competing cancer drug, and uh, Merck shares down on that news. Uh, I do have levels for Merck um, today, so again, if you are uh, going to come over and trade with us, I'll try to have those posted up before the opening bell in the intraday stock chat room. So Merck is going to be in play today, and again, Merck falling on uh, news that Roach is coming out with a com com uh, competing cancer drug. So, again, keep that on the radar. Let's take a look at uh, BITA, which is Bit Auto, and um, this company reported earnings, I believe. Stock is down, so it closed at $39.13, now trading at $37. So there's not a whole lot I'm looking to do just yet, but we'll be looking at this one once the opening bell rings. By some chance, if it really sold off sharply, uh, the 200-day moving average is going to be around 33 bucks. And then you have a really significant support level just under 27, say 26.90. So keep that on the level on, on the radar today. I'm not sure if it gets down to that level, but we will look at it if it does. Let's take a look at Qualcomm. It looks like um, looks like Qualcomm is catching a good bid today. Closed at 66.72 on Friday. Now trading at 67.13. The news out on Qualcomm this morning, and I did see it, is that investors are requesting at least $10 a share more. Uh, so they're looking for more than $70 a share from uh, Broadcom. So they're looking, if they're going to be bought out, they want to be brought, bought out by, by about 80 bucks. So again, um, nice little pop there this morning. We'll see if that news is significant once the opening bell rings. Again, anybody owning Qualcomm at this stage of the game, you're just trailing your stop loss. That's what you want to do. See if they bid that thing up a little bit more. But um, either way, it uh, looks like investors are expecting or at least looking for uh, a higher takeout level. So we'll see if that does happen. Let's take a look at Monster Beverage. MNST is the ticker symbol here. And uh, what you're going to see here is the stock is trading down a bit. This is on the back of a downgrade. Stock closed at $62.17 on Friday. It's now trading at $60.66 uh, 60 this morning. So a good little pullback there on the back of a downgrade. In all fairness, Monster Beverage was a bit overbought. So I, I don't really disagree with this downgrade here. I kind of agree with it. And we'll see how it plays out. Again, the stock uh, should have some pretty decent support levels uh, if it does fall further. But right now, it's still way too high. We'll look at this one once the opening bell rings today. Let's take a look at General Motors. It looks like they were uh, upgraded today. GM right now trading at $44.00. And 37 cents. That's uh, up from $43.88 at the close. So a little uptick there. I don't see a lot of upside in GM from here, but we'll we'll keep an eye on it. We'll see how it plays out. Let's look at Walmart. It looks like they were also downgraded this morning. Walmart right now trading at 
and 30 cents. Walmart's had an amazing run. It got to 100 bucks on Friday, and again, pulling back off that level. So I don't see anything horrible for Walmart, just an overbought condition. And again, a downgrade at this stage may be warranted from the big move it has had. So we'll see how that plays out. Let's shift gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market. Gold is down $5 today, trading at $1,291.40. An ounce. If you take a look at the GLD, which is a good way to track the movement in gold, you'll see that's trading at 122.63, down from 122.87 on Friday. So GLD under a little bit of pressure. Gold itself, spot gold under pressure as well, down five bucks this morning. All right, let's go over to the oil market. Crude oil down 39 cents right now, trading at 56 dollars and 32 cents a barrel. If you take a look at the USO. This is how you track the oil market, and you can see that's trading at 11.26, down from 11.35 at the close. I'm not seeing anything great or terrible for crude right now. Uh, gold down a little bit. We'll see how this all plays out once the opening bell rings. Again, Mondays are a little bit on the lighter volume side. This is also a holiday short and trading week, so I'm not sure what we're going to get as far as volume is concerned. But either way, uh, we're going to watch these markets, see what's in play, and we'll try to make some money there. We've had a great 2017 in, in the intraday stock chat room. We're going to look to keep that going right into the end of the year. If you haven't done so, come on over, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat, and you'll see what it's all about. You can trade right alongside of us. With that being said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day, and we will see you on the charts.